Hi, good morning. Uh, welcome back to a new video class. In this video class, I am going to explain the topic anomalous secondary thickening in the stem of Dracaena plant. Actually, we know that Dracaena is a monocot plant belongs to the family Lilies. And we know that in case of monocot, increase in girth thickness that is secondary girth is completely absent because their primary vascular bundle that is primary xylem and primary phloem not possess a vesicular cambium. So in case of Dracaena, even though it is a monocot, the stem performs a peculiar type of secondary growth. That secondary growth is called anomalous secondary growth. Look at the structure that I drawn here. In this structure, you can see an outermost layer that is called epidermis. And that epidermis is followed by hypodermal region and that region is made up of sclerenchyma tissue. And you can see the cells of that sclerenchyma tissue. Here you can see outer layer is very narrow or thin whereas inner layer is very thick. That indicates that this is sclerenchyma test hypodermis. And this hypodermal region is followed by a region that region is called ground tissue and within that region you can see undifferentiated or homogeneous mass of parenchyma tissues. So within that parenchyma tissue you can see primary vascular bundle and the main feature of that primary vascular bundle is that that primary vascular bundle contains an inner tissue that is called primary xylem and inner tissue primary xylem and that primary xylem is completely encircled by primary phloem that dark colored ring primary phloem so such type of vascular bundle that is primary xylem is completely encircled by primary phloem such type of vascular bundle is called amphivacel vascular bundle amphivacel vascular bundle in this vascular bundle vesicular cambium is completely absent that is why we can say that it is a closed type of vascular bundle and also amphivacel in nature so closed vascular bundle is a unique feature of monocot here this dressing also obey the monocot nature that is close to vascular bundle. But this dracaena shows a peculiar type of secondary growth. That secondary growth is called anomalous secondary growth. Okay, so this is the primary anatomy of dicots. Uh, this is the primary anatomy of monocot stem dracaena. So if you need to understand the secondary growth in dracaena thoroughly, you just need to understand what is the pattern of prime what is the pattern of secondary growth in the stem and the root of an ordinary dicot. If you are not very much thorough about that topic, just watch my uh, video on secondary growth in dicot stem and root in my YouTube channel. Then try to understand this one. Then only you can easily able to understand. So we will move into the anomalous secondary growth in Dracaena. Actually, Dracaena shows two type of anomaly in their secondary growth. Actually, it is not an anomaly. Humans think that it is an anomaly, but in the sense of growth, it is a peculiar type of secondary growth, which is taking place in Dracaena. So, first anomaly in secondary growth Dracaena is that their origin, their origin of cambial ring, their origin of cambial ring. We know that in case of dicot stem and dicot root, cambial rings are originated by the fusion between fascicular cambium and in the fascicular cambium. But here in Dracaena, both the fascicular and in the fascicular cambium are totally absent. So here, the origin of cambial ring is a peculiar type that is, it is an anomaly. So let us try to understand how this cambial ring originates. In Resina, 
can be a dream originate from the parangai matas tissue, from the parangai matas tissue, which is present just around this primary vascular bundle. Look at the structure here. I drawn four primary vascular bundle. So here can be a dream originate from the parangai muscles, from the parangai muscle, which is present just around the primary vascular bundle. Or we can see that the parangai muscles, which is present at the innermost region of ground tissue or cortex. So here I erase. Look, uh, look here, I am erasing this parenchyma cell. Those parenchyma cell which is present just around the primary vascular bundle. These parenchyma cells converted into or transformed into or in exact sense, they differentiated into meristematic tissues. So in uh, so uh, this is the pattern of cambial ring formation in Rosina. So this is an entirely new kind of cambial ring origin which is not found in dicot stem and dicot roots. Okay. So this is the origin of cambial. So cambial ring uh, originated from the parenchyma tissues. From the parenchyma tissues or parenchyma cell present just around the primary master or at the innermost region of high innermost region of gum tissues. So here I draw three layers of cambial ring. So this kind of cambial ring is also called this kind of cambial ring is also called yes okay yes tm secondary this is called a secondary Thickening. This is called a secondary thickening meristem. This is called a secondary thickening meristem or STM. So this is the one anomaly. They are formed from the cambial ring which is formed from the cortical cell which is present just around the primary vascular body. And second anomaly is that their pattern of division or their activity. So second the second anomaly is the activity of cambial cells or cambial tissues. This is the second anomaly. We know that in dicot stem and dicot root during secondary thickening, cambial ring produces a group of small amount of, small amount of tissue towards outside. That small amount of tissue towards outside is called primary secondary flowing. Like that, then cambial ring produces a uh, large amount of secondary tissue towards inside of the cambial ring that is uh, called secondary phylum. But in case of Dracaena, this cambial ring never produces secondary flowing towards outside. So here, this cambial ring produces, this cambial ring produces, uh, for, for, for understanding, for easy understanding, I am erasing this parenchyma tissue. Okay, I don't have enough space uh, on my board. So, I am erasing this parenchyma tissue. Okay. So, this cambial ring produces a group of tissue. This cambial ring produces a group of tissue towards outside. But it is scanty or limited in amount. But, and this small amount of tissue which is produced by this cambial ring, this small amount of tissue is an ordinary parenchymatous tissue. This is a parenchymatous tissue. It is not a secondary flow. Okay. And like that, this cambial ring also produces toward, tissue towards inside. But that tissue is of two type. That tissue is of two type. Okay. I don't have enough space here. So, I will uh, so draw I will draw that activity here. I will draw that activity here. Suppose if you imagine, we imagine this is the cambial ring. This is the STM, secondary cambial tissue, secondary thickening meristem. It produces a group of tissue towards outside. It produces a group of tissue towards outside. That is called parenchymatous tissue. But it produces two types of tissue towards inside. It produces two types of tissue towards inside. Among this one, among this one is called, one is called radially elongated parenchyma tissue. One is called radially elongated parenchyma tissue. 
radially elongated parenchyma tissue one is called radially elongated parenchyma tissue and this radially elongated parenchyma tissue is entirely different from the parenchyma tissue which is produced towards outside and we can see how they differ this radially elongated parenchyma tissue is formed by they are formed by the periclinal division they are formed by the periclinal division means division like this they are formed by the periclinal division of cambial cells so what is the main what is the peculiarity of periclinal division due to periclinal division or tangential division these cell produces a two, two type of cell like this what is the what is the peculiarity of this cell here the length is higher when compared to breadth here the length and breadth are not same here the length is more and breadth is less so such kind of cell so such kind of cell arrange within the inner to the inner to the cambial ring like this inner to the cambial ring like this so this cambial ring produces radially elongated elongated parenchyma tissue towards inside due to its periclinal division so gradually this radially elongated parenchyma tissue slowly converted into or gradually converted into conjunctive tissue by the heavy accumulation of lignin on their cell wall so slowly this radially elongated parenchyma tissue converted into conjunctive tissue by the accumulation or by the Uh, the position of lignin on their cell wall. At the same time, at the same time, so the conjunctive tissue will be formed in the whole this area, conjunctive tissue, conjunctive tissue like this. So at the same time, some of the at the same time, look at uh, listen here at the same at the same time, some of the cambial cell which is present at the innermost layer of cambial ring or STM or STM some of the cambial cell which is present at the innermost layer of this STM secondary tissue meristem act as vascular initial act as vascular initial suppose if you imagine if you imagine this is the vascular initial this is the this is a cambial cell which is present at the innermost layer of STM that acts as a vascular initial that divide two times through anticlinal division that divide two times through anticlinal division so we will get we will get one we will get one we will get one and we will get second one two and three we will get a single layer of cell You'll get a single cell of cell. Their number is three. And after that, it divide. And after that, it divide periclinally. One, two, three. It divide periclinally. So we we'll get. So we we'll get. So we we'll get. So we we'll get six cell. One, two, three, four, five cell. So we we'll get six cell. So after six cell formation, so we we'll get two. Tire of cell each with three. So we we'll get two layer of two layer each with three cell. After that, it divides anticlinally and periclinally without any order and form a mass of cell and form a mass of cell. Among these, the innermost cell and form a mass of cell. Among these. The innermost cell, those cell which is present at the inner region, slowly transformed into or metamorphosis into secondary xylem, secondary xylem, and those cell which is present at the periphery, slowly converted into periphery, slowly converted into periphery, slowly converted into secondary xylem. So here we will get a. New vascular bundle that is new amphibacial vascular bundle just around this primary vascular bundle and that amphibacial vascular bundles are embedded within the conjunctive tissue. Okay, so this is the peculiar type of division or activity shown by the newly formed cambial cell.
So ultimately, we will get ultimately we will get parallel matrix. We will get we will get two layer. One is continuous parallel matrix show produced by the cancel in two sub set, and second one is an another layer. That layer contains two type of tissue. One is conjunctive tissue, and second one is the newly produced anti vessel mask bundle which is embedded within this conjunctive tissue. So this is the pattern, and this process. Happen continuously. So during the next season, this cambial ring again produces undifferentiated parenchyma tissue towards outside, and cambial ring produces conjunctive tissue and anterior nervous bundle towards inside. So after a secondary growth, we can see numerous. After a secondary growth, we can see numerous amphibasal vascular bundle. Secondary amphibasal vascular bundle. It is a primary amphibasal vascular bundle. So after a secondary growth, we can see numerous amphibasal vascular bundle around this uh, primary amphibasal vascular bundle, and the whole. Secondary amphibasal vascular bundle is embedded within the conjunctive tissue. That conjunctive tissue also produces a scamular ring. So during that division, numerous tissue, numerous new tissue occupy in the ground tissue. So due to the formation of numerous extra tissue within this vesicular stem. A pressure create a pressure create that pressure ultimately the rupture the colon kinematis hypothalamus and epidermis. So we lose this region. So this region get lost. So the ground outermost cortical cells of the ground tissue become exposed. So if uh, if it stay like that. New coron numerous microorganisms or new coron numerous microbial infection will start through this area. So, in order to prevent or in order to protect this dracaena stem, the outermost cortical cell slowly transformed into a meristematic tissue, and that meristematic tissue produces cellum or core towards outside, and that cellum or store core is called storied core. Cell. They are called storied core. That 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 core is called a storied core. It produces core it towards outside. That core is called a storied core because that core uh, and that region causes only store. Uh, that that region causes only cellum or core. That region as uh, not that region not uh, contain uh, cellulogen or the core to be or secondary core. These two uh, tissues are absent here. Only cellum is present. So that cellum is called a storied core. Okay, so this is the uh, pattern of second growth uh, that happened in case of Prasina. So after second growth, you can see primary vascular, primary amphibasal vascular bundle. Around that primary amphibasal vascular bundle, you can see numerous layers of secondary amphibasal vascular bundle. When we consider the size of primary amphibasal vascular bundle and secondary amphibasal vascular bundle, which is present just around this. Uh, primary amphibasal vascular bundle. The size is smaller in case of secondary amphibasal vascular bundle, and the size is larger in case of primary amphibasal vascular bundle. Okay. Uh, uh, this is the things that happen, and ultimately, at the last, at the final, uh, last formed amphibasal vascular bundle is completely encircled by conjunctive tissue. So this is the type of uh, second growth in case of Dracaena, and uh, we can also say that uh, when we take the case of uh, cylum in case of primary amphibasal vascular bundle and the secondary amphibasal vascular bundle, it is different. In case of second, in 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 the case of cylum in secondary amphibasal vascular bundle, that cylum is made up of only rickets and very few number of cylum parenchyma. Vessels and fibers are absent. And when we take the case of that trachees, they lack annular and spiral thickening on their cell wall. They possess only scalar thickening. So that is a difference when we take the case of cylum of primary amphibasal and secondary. Secondary amphibasal possess that features, but here we can see annular, spiral, scalar thickening also. Okay, so that is the. Uh, Main difference 
uh, in case of Dracaena. So this is happened in case of Dracaena. Okay, thank you.